Good morning. Today is January 25 and I am Ramon Leonato speaking from the Ashram for Unfoldment. We come from silence and to silence we return. Every morning when we wake up we come from the silence of the night, from the depth of our deep sleep in which everything is silent and somehow we are not there or we are in the silence that is there. We go through all the movement that our day brings and we return to silence at the end of the day. You could say the same of a lifetime. You come from the silence of the unborn and you return to the silence of the grave. So th those are mm, obvious realities or actualities. Well, during this process of movement that we have, Every day we are free to be the kings of our own day. We are free to be our own law if we are free of all our karmas. When man is self-realized, he becomes a law unto himself because no form of karma touches him. The things that happen to him do not affect him because he has developed the integration that brings non-attachment. Non-attachment is key to free yourself of all karmas. Non-attachment is based on the fact that you are not wanting to give survival or perpetuate the idea you have of yourself. So then you have no expectations and somehow you know that from silence you come from silence, you return. What are you going to attach to of all that movement which is, which is changing all the time? It is attachment that brings suffering. Attachment produces expectations and when these are not fulfilled, suffering is produced. That is what we call karma. One can free oneself from karmic attachment. First use objectivity to reach non-attachment. Objectivity means use your cognitive qualities to understand that attachment makes absolutely no sense to live to live your day and to live your day fully because you know results the results that you are looking for are there in your day already there all of them non-attachment leads you to happiness because nothing affects you and when nothing affects you you do not create any cause and when you do not create any cause you cannot produce the effect and if you do not produce the effect, you cannot create another cause again. This is the purpose of life. We come from silence and we go back to silence. So when you free yourself from karma, there is no cause motivating you or you have a motiveless motivation. There is no expectation, so you are not creating an effect or you are not attaching to an effect and then you become king of your own day and a law unto yourself. Karma does not work on the supraconscious levels of the mind. It works only on the lower levels such as the subconscious mind which in turn influences the conscious mind. That is why karma, the accumulated body of results of your actions, is not the totality of yourself as you can disperse or eliminate karma. So karma, all those patternings and conceptions and subconscious information which has to be yet to be resolved and that is uh, conditioning your behavior and the results in which you live um, is not the totality of yourself. It's something that is, in fact, covering what your real self, your total self, is. So thank you very much for listening. Have a very beautiful day. Namaste.